What's up, people? Welcome back to Seller Made Kicks. Shout out to all the sneakerheads, collectors, and all those who like fly kicks. Today, we're going to do a tutorial on putting shoe shields or a sole protectors on these Jordan 12 playoffs to keep this beautiful white crispy and clean. Check it out. So, shout out to Rejuvenator. The shoe shields, I'll put the link down below and I'll show you how to put shoe shields on these Jordan 12 playoffs to keep that white crisp and clean, people. Check it out. Okay, what's up, people? Let's put on these shoe shields. AKA soul protectors, AKA keep that bottom clean, keep that bottom crisp for all the retailers and all the resellers. If you want to keep your sneaker fresh, use some soul protectors. I believe these are $30 on uh, the Rejuvenator uh, website. I'll put a link in the description. Let's get into it, people. Now, what you're going to need is your shoe shields, a pair of scissors, and a pen, pencil, or marker. Also, a blow dryer or anything like a hot air blower that can um, heat up the plastic and make sure that's secure on the bottom of the shoe. A blow dryer, any uh, hair blow dryer will work, people. Alright, let's get into it. Now bear with me because I haven't done this in a while. Let's check it out. You'll see two shoe shields. It's pretty big in size so you can cut it to fit whatever size you wear. Once again, these are $30 for a pair. Um, they give you wet wipes to make sure the sneaker is clean. Germs. Cleanliness is next to godliness, you know. All right. Back up. From all kinds of dirt and or lint, anything like that. These are brand new, so I don't have to go too heavy on these. Just something light real quick. Keep that smooth. Alright. Now let's lay out the, one of the shoe shields. Put your sneaker on it. I normally like to give mine a little bit of room so it cuffs up under the bottom. And I also don't want to write on the white part of the sneaker. So we'll go around and trace this. Trace the sneaker. Make sure y'all like and share the video. Leave something in the comments if you have any questions. If you use shoe shields as well, let me know. These are great to keep your sneakers fresh and are clean for long-term use and or reselling. Just trace the sneaker um, as good as possible. So you get a nice good fit. Alright, here it is people. That's the bottom of the shoe. 
we'll cut this out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that live bell notification so you don't miss a thing. I will have more sneaker reviews and tutorials coming soon. Y'all let me know if y'all have ever used shoe shields or sole protectors with any of your sneakers. Cut that out, as you can see, it's like the sneaker. Now we're going to peel the white part off. And then we have the shoe shell. We have the shoe shell, people. It'll match up the shoe shell to the bottom of the sneaker. Try to get it as close as possible to the edges. So it covers the bottom of the sneaker. And I do have two pairs of these. So this is my pair to wear. All right, now push the shoe shell down. Try to get it as close on the sneaker as possible. Before we turn the hair dryer on. Want to give it a little bit more room in this middle part. Because that has an indent in it. Make sure you push down on that shoe. Get it as flat as possible. Then we want to... As you can see, see, check it out, see, 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 see. All right. For one or two minutes. Put a little bit more room in this middle part, but it's two in the morning. Give me a break. All right. Feels like this is locked down and secure on the bottom of the shoe. So from the side, you can barely tell that the shoe shield is on there. Only on the bottom. Keep that sole fresh and clean. You see the shoe shield, people. It makes no difference when you're wearing these. Um, unless it's like a smooth surface, like a basketball court. If the, if you're going to wear these to play ball or something like that, I would say don't use shoe shields or sole collectors. Because if you're playing inside a basketball gym on a wax floor, this can get slippery. So this is strictly for 
casual wear, not for performance wear, for casual wear. So the shoe shield or shoe protector is locked in place. These can also be removed at a later date if need be. You can just peel it off. You're supposed to get at least 10 to 20 wears without any uh, dirt hitting the bottom of your shoe with these shoe shields. So I'll show y'all a quick on foot look how it feels to walk in these with the shoe shields. And once again, if you want to purchase a pair, I'll put the link in the description of this video. If you have any questions, put your questions in the comments. If y'all, if there's any sneakers that y'all want to see a sneaker review on or any other sneakers that you got questions about, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that live bell notification, and we'll see you next time. Deuces.